My friends, last time we looked at animators' first videos ever. An uncomfortable journey of evolution and growth and sometimes embarrassment. Just wanna play video games. But today, we are going back even farther into the history books to look at our favorite animators' old, old stuff. This is the stuff before they were comfortable publishing it on the internet. My old sketchbooks. The first comic I ever made! My embarrassing and weird old art! That's right, homies! We are going to be joining three of our favorite animators today as they take us through their old, bad... Well, hey, they said it. They said it, not me. It wasn't me. They said it. Art. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but I think the best one to start out with is Let Me Explain Studios. My embarrassing and weird old art! All right, thank you, Kermit. I, uh, I appreciate that. Well, my friends, as the Black Guy Peas once said, let's get rid let's get it started. Robert Eddie K, let me explain studios. Three, two, one. I got up this morning and I said to myself, you know what would do wonders for my self-esteem? Humiliation. Showing over 300,000 people my absurdly embarrassing old art from animation school that I probably should have burned by now. Hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers. That's me! Lally's Rebecca Parham here. Hello. Many people ask me if I went to school for art and animation. <laughs> school? I'm a part of the animated storytelling community on YouTube. You think I went to school? Actually, you'd be right. What? I did go to school for this. Yeah, well, didn't... Wait, what did you... Oh, I, I feel like James said what he did before. Did James not go to school for art? An See, animating's hard. Like, stuff like what I do, I didn't need to go to school for this. Even though I did go to school and waste four years of my life. Actually, it wasn't a waste. Stay in school. I didn't go to school for video editing. I just did it since I was 12. But aside from that, I didn't need to go to school for this. Actually, you'd be right. I did go to school for this. No! Yeah! General run-through of my college education, go! I graduated high school and went to a local private university to study theater. After an intense year of theater and music classes, I realized I wanted to fulfill my childhood dream of becoming an animator. Yay. So I then took a year of nothing but art classes, built up a portfolio, and got accepted into Ringling College of Art and Design. They're kind of known for their animation program. Kind of cool. considered one of the best in the world. Cool! <clears throat> now, at Ringling, at least while I was there, you didn't just jump into animation the first day. Uh, hey, at Ringling, you don't just go rinky-dink into the sink. Rebecca, of course. Your first day at rinky-dink, you can't rink your dink into the sink. You can't slink your wink off of the brink. It doesn't make sense. This video is sponsored by Rinky-Dink College of Art and Design. <laughs> You didn't just jump into animation the first day. No, 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 no. You had to take a whole bunch of weird art and design classes just to yep. prepare you for the animation program. And I'll be honest, guys, I don't think it was my art skills that got me accepted into that school. I think it was my good grades and theater experience. Yeah, because yeah. I was absolutely not the best drawer in my class. I was actually one of the worst. So that first year and a half of weird art classes, I am more than certain that I made my fair share of terrible art. Cutting to the chase, Ringling is in Florida, and my family used to own a townhouse house in Florida for business trips, and sometimes my college stuff would end up there in between school years. Recently, we sold that uh... townhouse, and the current owner sent me back some of my personal items that were left there. So guess what came in the mail Let's for me nearly go! four years after graduation? A big old portfolio case filled with art from my first year Let's and a half of animation go! school. Guess what we're doing? Looking at it! That's right, we're gonna open up this bad boy and we're gonna try and embarrass the hell out of me. Knock the old ego down a few notches. Official content warning, a lot of this artwork is from my figure drawing class, which is <gasps> the class that you draw nude models. Hey, not on my family-friendly Minecraft server. I guarantee her art is so much better than mine. I guarantee even like the old cringy art is better than me, my drawing. I cannot draw. Guys, I'm pretty good at almost every like general art thing, like music, performance, like video editing, color, whatever. But like visual art on paper, like drawing, painting, anything like that, I'm horrible. I couldn't be worse. I could not be worse. Like it's hard for a person to be as bad at drawing as I am. And I just had to accept that over time. I used to want to draw. I totally, I loved drawing. I drew all the time. It was just so bad. So if you think you're gonna be a little squeamish looking at some bad but tasteful drawings of booty cheeks, then go ahead and click off. 
I'll see you in the next video. And yes, I did look up YouTube's community guidelines regarding this, and it's all completely within the artistic slash educational parameters. Wow. We good. Guys, we'll do a little bit of blurring. We'll do a little bit of blurring in this video. That's okay. They just booty cheeks, man. That's okay. With respect to Rebecca's art, we don't mean to defile it, but I'm trying to put Fruit Loops on the table here, Rebecca. And here it is. This is the box that it was sent in. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at this art. I want to say in like six or seven years. I only have very vague memories of the art classes this that I took so at the fun. time, so this is gonna be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you guys. I'm so excited! IRL! So apparently I had two of them in there. I don't remember two of them, I only remember the one on top, but hey, Whoa. the more the merrier. The dark side. Let's start with you. So we're just gonna take whatever is on top first. <laughs> Just kidding, fellers. Oh, we're gonna start things off with some really awful figure drawing. Wow, that's and this terrifying. was a homework assignment where you had to take a piece of artwork that already existed and try to recreate it, but it had to have like naked humans in it. <laughs> Although, as you can clearly see, I was a little shy at the time about drawing uh, the bits. We're moving on. Yeah. Okay, so let's just kind of start pulling a whole bunch out at once. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Guys, do you even recognize who this goofy, is? Goofy, of course. That's, that's Goofy. That's me, Gorsh. Robert, that's me in the video. <laughs> Why, yes, Goofy, it is. Gorsh, that would be me if I was dead. Uh huh? I don't think Robert's actually very good at doing your voice, Goofy. That's for sure, Mick. I think that Robert should stick to what he does best and not try anything new. Lying songs, Mickey, isn't that like creating limiting beliefs? Yeah, that's gonna make Robert hate himself. Uh huh? I forgot that. That other voices meant more than just me. Never mind. Okay, all of you guys can shut up. Okay, we're gonna move on. All right, thank you. Okay, so we had a figure drawing class assignment in which we had to take a popular cartoon character and basically give them a skeleton, like figure out <sighs> what the skeleton underneath the body would look That's like. Really and cool. I just, I just chose Goofy. I had to figure out how exactly that skull would work. It's really good. Oh lord, this is awful. But this is actually oh. a very common practice that a lot of like animation artists do. That's really good. I even get on that. Ooh, I got an A. You Each good, you deserve it. Uh, this is a skeleton thing of the Jesus one that I did, the one that I showed you earlier. You see, it's very important to understand the bone structure beneath the skin to really understand how to draw the human body. Okay, I remember my teacher actually like really liking this one. All right, yeah, you see, we gotta start blurring a little. And I, guys, I know, I know what you're thinking. I just booty cheeks, man. But alas, I'm trying to put Fruit Loops on the table. I was really, really awful in that class. I was really terrible. Oh, geez, and man. the first time I ever got like any sort of praise from my teacher was I think on this Booty one. Cheek. But just, oh, uh, it, why did she praise me? This is so bad. Always have the trouble with the feet. Now what in the world are these things? This was the type of assignment where they gave you like a whole bunch of words and you had to figure out the line or the, the pattern or the design that best represents what? that word. Angry. That's all up to interpretation. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Claw marks. Rawr. How do you I mean, get graded right on here, that? What does fat look like to 20 year old Becca? I just booty cheeks, man. Mm. Looks like the eyes. That's saw. pretty, that's pretty Whoa. abstract Whoa. and impressive. Bored. Like everybody who's watching this video. Nice. Does that represent how nice. you guys are feeling right now? This looks like a really weird game of Mahjong or something. Happy, the feeling millennials never feel. Do you feel that way, guys? Aww. No? Yeah, good. I'm here Long to track. break the stigma, In all seriousness, this Rebecca. is actually a really good exercise because it helps you better visualize certain descriptive words and really bolsters your creativity a little bit. Cool. Block people, because we're all just a bunch of blocks put together. Hey, guys, you know, <laughs> she's right. She's right. Life is Roblox. Life is Roblox. Don't, don't let nothing stop you. And here's your nightmare fuel for the rest of your days. Cool. This is actually a similar exercise to giving a cartoon character a skeleton, only I think this wow. was Stewie Griffin and I had Stewie. to give him muscles, but like, why did I give him like a like more realistic nose and more realistic lips? I don't understand. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, something in Rebecca's life, some life altering event happened to her where she went off course, where her DNA split into two. One became Rebecca Param and the other became Meat Canyon. That's the alternate reality. Lightning struck when they were born. You can see, you can see the DNA. I do think this is really impressive though. Real talk. The musculose. The mu muscular, musculoskeletal, the musculoskeletal of uh, this is impressive. <laughs> But this is another one of those learning exercises where you had to know all of the muscles of the human body so you can better draw the human body. So just important stuff. Yeah. Even if it is really creepy. Oh no, wait, this is the one. This is the one that I got like a lot of, a lot of praise from my teacher on. This is the one where I finally thought, cheeks. hey, maybe I can do this. Maybe I'm not so awful. Yeah, this one's yeah, better than this is than really most. good. It's not it's not good, but it's it, better it, it than It is us. really good. It literally, like, this is, I'm actually really impressed. They're just booty cheeks. No, no they're no, more no, than no, just no, booty no, cheeks. No. This looks like a person really in a room. This looks like a photo of a person in a room, but you put some crazy filters on it. Like, this is really good. Okay, if you guys thought that Stewie Griffin thing was nightmare fuel, you ain't seen nothing yet because the Peace Day Resistance. Whoa. What was this um i what? think like, i even gave it like a leaf what rebecca you, you draw you draw the booty but you don't draw the cheeks okay kill it before it lays eggs and i think this was a picture of Dee Dee from dexter's laboratory oh my and gosh I don't know what i made her into like are these like supposed to be dreadlocks what and why is one forearm so much bigger Kill than the Kill it other. before it, it lays eggs. Like frog fingers and the frog toes. I have no idea what I was thinking. This is super creepy. I never want to see this again. Listen, it was really well done. It's really well done, I'll say that. Just the subject I want to exterminate. So now we have this bad boy and he was heavy. All right, what have we got here? Whoop, these are big books and ooh, we're going to pull out something colorful. Ooh. What? Wow. So I have a business of art and design minor and I had to take a lot of business classes and one of my favorite teachers was the teacher of this class. Oh, there was a teacher that didn't treat you horribly? I guess those <laughs> ones aren't uh, worth making videos about, but I'm, I'm happy to know that you weren't cursed entirely with every teacher you had. And she wanted us to do an art project of like what life means to us. And I said, well, life is like a balancing act. Look oh. at that derpy dopey expression. I like turtles. I like the concept because I still believe that life is nothing but a balancing act, but still. True. This, this, this never needs to see life. True. Again. Here we go. Yet another example of the failures. Okay, so this is the point where I found two whole sketch pads filled with nothing but bad drawings. Just look at how many I'm flipping through right now. There is Amazing. over a hundred of them and not a single one is good enough to be in a portfolio. <clears throat> I wanna recall an old Walt Stanchfield quote that everybody needs to remember. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. We all have 10,000 bad drawings in us. The sooner yep. we get them out, the better. Yep. I'd say that number is higher. Look, I was in one of America's best animation school programs and I was still getting those bad drawings out. To this day, I am good. still getting them out. This is what getting better looks like. It is mountains and mountains of ugly, unusable drawings. Yep. Out of a hundred, you may have a couple that are okay. Every professional artist out there has their own mountain range of bad drawings. Same thing goes for making music. Same thing goes for learning how to edit videos real good. And just making YouTube videos. My early videos were really bad. Just wanna play video cam. But even before my early videos, I was editing videos and posting them on YouTube since 2006. So if you think Robert it just makes the illest videos and how does Robert do it so ill? I, I'll, I'll, I could never be as good. Trust me, I was really bad for a long time and I got good. And the only way to get good is to practice, period. No matter what you trying to do, don't give it up when you're not good at the start. You need to go through it. This is really the most important insight that I can give you, practice. Practice more, practice even more than that. Practice yeah. until you fall asleep, face yeah. first into your sketchbook because that yeah. is what you are supposed to do in order to get better. Every bad drawing is a tiny baby step closer to where you wanna be. 
Okay, I know I've been ragging on past Becca pretty hard throughout this entire video, but back then, she was really trying her best. I was yeah. really trying my best. Fighting my way through an extraordinarily hard <coughs> college program surrounded by people who were far better than me. The very definition of intimidating. I guess my point in all of this is, if a socially awkward theater geek with low self-esteem who was in way over her head can do it, then chances are so can you. Just takes a lot of passion and self-discipline and determination. Yeah! And maybe some iron and stubbornness at times. Keep drawing all my new artists out there. And thank you so much for tuning in, but now I gotta tune out. Bye! Yay! It doesn't matter what comes. Well, that was fun. Now let's move on. Before we get to Bryson's sketchbooks, we are going to watch The Odd Ones Out. The first comic I ever made. Is it going to be as putrid as it is? <laughs> Let me come up in. Is it going to be as primitive as your fourth grade book? Which, that's not an insult. I was, I would have been even worse. Let's see how it stacks up. The very first comic I drew was this fan-made Garfield comic that I did when I was like nine. This was the Garfield comic that came out when I was born. Okay, back to Twilight. Okay, back to Twilight. Back to Twilight. Hello? James, we found it. Uh -huh. What? What did you find? The, the Garfield comic, man. <gasps> so remember how oh, I said no. the first comic I made was a Garfield comic? Of course you remember. I just showed you a clip of it. Yes. So apparently my mom kept it. I just... <laughs> that just amazes me. I need to call her. Hold on. Mom, how could you? Hello? Uh, hey, mom. I just want to say that... You have a hoarding problem. Like seriously, you need to throw some stuff away once in a while. Okay, bye. Man, I love her. Did you know the Aww. creator of Garfield, Jim Davis, is 70 freaking years old? And he's still making Garfield? Whoa. Uh, is Jim Davis really still kicking and pumping out the Garfield? I used to enjoy me some good Garfield, but it may be like the most repetitive car like comic strip of all time. Calvin and Hobbes is goaded <laughs> with the sauce, if you ask me. Calvin and Hobbes is the realest and illest comic. Garfield was good though. It just, yeah, I just thought it was really repetitive. And he's made 14,000 comics? Oh, he has wow. co-artists and he doesn't even draw them anymore. Oh. Well, I just lost a bit of respect for my hero. If you guys wanted to start reading Garfield, you have a lot of catching up to do. So you know I love Garfield, it was a big inspiration to me, so much so that the very first comic I ever made was about Garfield. Yeah. And I know in the video I said that I made it when I was like nine, but looking back at this, I want to say that I was like six yeah. months old, yeah. it's that bad. <laughs> so everyone shut up and without further ado, this is the very first comic I made. Okay, let me explain some stuff. Sorry, sorry, Jake, you, you are meant to see that, sorry. Okay, let me explain some stuff. Let's go over this panel we by We already panel. watched, let see me explain. there's a graphic in this corner here? Well, Jim would make a unique graphic on every Sunday comic. So this is a Sunday comic, yep. everyone. That means it's in color. Orange is the color. So the first <laughs> panel, there's Odie, Garfield, and John. And John is saying, happy birthday. Hey. It's Garfield's birthday. And they're about to eat this physically impossible looking cake. So there's yeah. this running joke in the Garfield comic that Garfield hates his birthday because he's getting way older. He's in his late 30s now, jeez. <laughs> so keep that in mind because in the next panel, Wah. You might not be able to tell from the comic, but that's the sound of a fire truck pulling up. Because in panel number three, there's firefighters saying, Where's wow. the fire? And you know they're firefighters because this guy's holding a fire hose. Oh. It's a hose, okay? I was six, you pervert. <laughs> I just want to point out that I spelled fire like how it should be spelled. Fire. Really? This is the wrong way if you think about it. Wait, what did this... Is he already off track? What does this have to do with the birthday? Oh, oh, the fire people are gonna like put out his birthday candles. Is that the idea? The fire people saw the candles and they're like, Psh, is this the birthday cake? Oh, oh, that's silly. We thought it was a real fire. Is that what it's gonna be? Really? This is the wrong way if you think about it. Fiery. In case you didn't get the okay. joke, there's so many candles on Garfield's cake that it was enough to warrant a visit from the fireman. Okay. Because Garfield is so old that oh. he just has a bunch of candles on his cake. And then in the next panel, John explains to the fireman that there was nothing to worry about. My cat just having a bee day. Garfield's still confused though. And then in the next panel, the cake is falling apart as we speak, and we hear another sound effect. It's beep, beep. Now, if we follow wow. the speech bubble, we can clearly see that the sound is coming from the ceiling. Whoa. John already knows what's happening because he says, 
Oh no. The fire alarm. And then in a brand new color, blue, it starts raining on them. <laughs> it was the sprinkler. Wow. From above. John runs away going, ah. I remember distinctly. Guys, I remember a distinct moment. I noticed that the way he wrote ah there with no H's, just a a a a a, -A capital A, capital A. I remember being in kindergarten and I was drawing a thing where some character was burning. A character was on fire. And I wanted them to be scream, ah. And so I remember going up to my kindergarten teacher and saying, teacher, how do you spell ah? They're just like A's. I was like, oh, okay. That's, she understood my question for sure. I'm just gonna write a bunch of A's. That's definitely what she thought I was talking about. And yeah, so I wrote it the exact same way, A, A, A. <laughs> you know, something similar happened with sprinklers in the Incredibles movie. Oh shoot, I gotta call it the Incredibles 1 in case you're watching this after June 2019. Ooh. So if I got inspiration That's from the Incredibles fun. 1, which came out in 2004, that would mean I would be a minimum of eight years old. So maybe I did Whoa. make this comic when I was nine. That is, I'm assuming I stole that joke from the Incredibles movie, which I wouldn't put past myself. All right, guys. What if I told you there was a second Garfield comic? Okay, real talk. That was not bad. That story was not bad. It made more sense than your first video on your channel. I thought that was actually pretty good. I didn't realize it's like, oh, it's because Garfield is so old that there were so many candles that the fire department came up. I thought it was just random, like, oh, random birthday candles, fire department showed up. But because of the Garfield old, like, it was actually, like, clever. Okay, good job. Good job. I'm a little hesitant to show you because, uh, I don't know what's going on in this one. So let's look at it and see if we can figure it out together. So it starts with a Garfield graphic. It's another Sunday comic. It doesn't seem as excited as the other one, though. Aww. Then in panel one, we see, what is that? I Nothing. think that's a toothbrush and that's toothpaste. Fire hydrant. And it says Teth on it. Okay, panel two. John walks up to said Teth brush and Teth paste. And then he says, they say you should use to pee big tooth past. Nice! I was in honor classes, you know. Then it looks like he's about to brush his teeth with a massive teeth brush. <laughs> and then Garfield, that's not pee, sis. And then I don't even oh know. I don't know what that is. And then there's two and one's green. And then we see Garfield say, yes, it is. <laughs> oh no! And I did see that he did have another video called Garfield Comic Explained. I should watch that another time. But is it? Is this a situation where he asked his audience, what is this about? And people somehow put it together. You know what this is like, and I'm not expecting any help because I think I screwed up Beyond Repair and it will never work. Just a sec. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get personal real quick. So there was a phase of my life last year where I did a lot of meditating with my eyes closed and listening to like meditation music and just going into a, a like a trance. And I had this little journal where I would, while my eyes are like my blindfold is still on, I would pick up my pen and I would write in this journal when I w I couldn't see it. So I had to hope that I wrote it correctly. I'll, I'll show you one example before I show you my royal screw up. For example, during this meditation, the big takeaway that I wanted to write down was making people truly happy. The only thing that matters. The only goal. I was just feeling positive, people. So that one makes sense and I, I'm good. I'm good on that one. But then one time I wrote something and I wrote two lines of text over top of each other and I have no idea what it says. I wrote two lines of text and then I wrote act accordingly with a smiley face. I don't know how to act because I can't read it. No, that middle word is not Aries. What? I asked people on Twitter one time and someone was like, I see the word Aries. Does it, does that say no horoscopes? Like, oh my gosh, no, I would never write something like that. That's the word R and the word is. And I think the is word is the one that's on top. Like, I have no idea. If anyone can figure it out, you're probably a genius. So I'll never be able to take that lesson with me unless I can figure it out. So that's okay. So like I said, I don't know what this one's about. I don't know what the joke is. I just don't get it. So I will make you an offer. I will give $20 to anyone that explains what this comic is trying to do. Actually, let's uh, make it a prime $23. So $23 to anyone who can decipher 23. this. $23! I want 
my $40! Yes, it's on Twitter and in the YouTube comments. And I will give out the $23 to whichever explanation I think explains the comic the best. <laughs> so not necessarily the first person to get it will get the $23. Just whichever one I see first. Wow, I am really tempted to check that out and see the official Garfield explanation. But we gotta move on. But people, if you want me to look at that Garfield explanation, get this video to like 15,000 likes. If we hit 15,000 likes, then I'll do the Garfield one. And speaking of likes and stuff, make sure you are subscribed to the animators that we are looking at today. They are the people who did all the hard work on this video. We over here at Robert IDK saying silly things and editing silly things. Make sure you are supporting the original creators. They work so hard. All their links will be in the description and at the end of the video. If I can, actually, I don't think I can fit all of them at the end. So in the description for sure. And now, are you ready for the grand finale? We just can't seem to get away from this man. Bryson's old sketchbooks. Not only is it his old sketchbooks, but it's his old, not fully puberty body. It is incredible how in the last three years, Bryson has, like, it's been three years and Bryson looks nothing like this now. Hi everyone, today, um, I, uh, so basically I, okay. Bruh, bruh. Bryson, you don't have to watch this one if you're not comfortable, it's okay. But I will be respectful, I will be respectful. But since you have grown up so much since then, maybe I, maybe I am allowed to roast the old you. I don't know, but I, I, I'll i be careful because I haven't uh, gotten your explicit consent uh, and I can't get that before I finish filming this video. So I will uh, respectfully roast this legend. Hi everyone, today, um, I, uh, so basically, I, okay, sketchbooks, today's video is all about sketchbooks. We're gonna talk about all, right. all my sketchbooks and take a look inside. Okay. I've always loved to draw. Uh, as you could tell from most of my videos, there's a lot of drawing pictures. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Oh, anyway, true. so uh, I, I just got a few sketchbooks here. Just a couple, just not that many. Guys, I wonder what time it is. Man, Bryson, such a wonderful home. We, we, we love what you've done with the place. Only problem is, I just have no idea where I can tell the time, you know? I just always lose track of time when I'm in that home because there's just no way of knowing what, what time it is. Not that many, just a few. So we're gonna start with sketchbook number one. Sketchbook okay. number one, okay? This is my first, very first sketchbook. As you can see, Bryson's <laughs> sketchbook. They're all the exact okay, so same this book. This is when I first started to get like serious about drawing. This was ninth grade and 2016, yikes. 2016, ninth grade. I graduated university in 2016. Oh my gosh. Okay, you never mind. You're still quite young, uh, Bryson. This is all throwing my head for a loop, but I do think I need to remember, no, you, you are still pretty, pretty darn young in the, in the adult uh, world, in the world of uh, being an adult. Ninth grade in 2016. Gosh, that's blowing my mind a bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, boop, okay, we got some hands here, some Link. Okay, that's freaking Kyogre. Wow, fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, some, oh, my gem Sona, don't steal. Okay, <laughs> this guy's important. Uh, we're gonna be talking about him a freaking lot, cause he's the only character I was interested in drawing for four freaking years. Okay. Uh, his name's Teo. Uh, wow. Okay, that's what he used to look like, and this is what he looks like now, so. Cool! It's gonna change a lot. Basically, all the drawings are Teo, okay? He's holding the sword and stuff. Oh, there he is again. <gasps> oh. Dude, what the- Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh, I'm just kidding. Listen, Teo's got to have some fun uh, sometimes. <laughs> Teo, nobody said Teo couldn't feel love, okay? A true warrior fights hard and loves hard as well. I should stop talking. Oh. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh wow, it's Tail. I wonder. I wonder what characters will be in it next. <laughs> Oh, it's Link from, from, from Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Okay, here's one I like. It's ham. Oh, it's the ham. Every ham's dream. Wow. Every ham's dream. That's the ham. So this is basically just me learning how to draw. Oh, it's built. It's funny how dumb you are. And oh. uh, yeah, this is just the beginning. My first sketchbook, basically. There he is again. And oh, that was me. 
That one's okay. Cool. It's like the only okay one in this freaking book. Okay, that's sketchbook one, and I hate it. Very Which, good. Okay, sketchbook number two. All right, so we are going to see the evolution in this video. One thing I really respect is the ability to just to use those like the standard like boring black sketchbooks like when i was in grade nine i would want my sketchbooks to look cool and different all my journals are different this one's really tiny i usually use a much bigger journal but i've been journaling lately and it's so fun i love it but it's like some serious diary stuff like legitimately it's like the type of thing where it's like if if, if, it, if, if it got out it would be like my diary so not that i really like have any like secrets you know i wouldn't really care if people read my diary Diary, my journal, it's a, it is a journal. But at the same time, it's like, I like that it's just for me, <laughs> okay? Okay, sketchbook number two. Okay, so this one, still 2016, looks like. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Bryson. There's a wolf, I'm not a furry, shut up. <laughs> Oh look, it's another Hamland one. So Ooh. many hams. Like I've got a big tongue. Oh, he's doing a ricochet move. Wow. He's in a hot air balloon. Oh, he's skydiving. Oh. It's incredible what's possible in a world of hams, you know? The immense joys that we can feel in a world of hams. I hope when I go to sleep tonight, I, w I wake up in ham world. Every ham's dream. <laughs> Okay, this is a dragon, which is actually kind of cool. Dragons are cool. I don't know if you knew that. Dragons are cool. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay, the, the beard romancer. This, I'm pretty sure this wasn't my idea. Beard I think another romancer? YouTuber did this, and I was like copying it. Stop I don't remember who it Oh, he's facing like a skeleton boy. That's kind of cool. Cool, cool. He's like, <laughs> Ooh. He's holding two swords at once. Now that's just not a uh, practical body. Now that's just not practical body mechanics. Two swords is not more efficient than one. If you look at any major swordsman from the 1400s, you're yeah, done. You're done. done. You're done. You're done. Oh, oh my God. God. You're done. He's holding two swords at once. He's gonna get you. <laughs> He's gonna get you. Wow. Oh, I had a friend named Sydney, and I drew her as a squid. Squidney. If you think about it with logic, it's funny. Laugh. Facts uh, and okay, logic. Okay, his ankles are super small there. You can- just... <laughs> Oh, there's a dragon. That dragon's all right. I'm pretty sure I used reference though. Okay, this one. Yeah, I never finished the- Wait, did I? Yeah, I never finished this one. This one only has a few pages. It's okay, that's a- Draco! Don't pull out the Draco, Yikes. don't pull out the Draco. I remember being proud of this one. Okay, so I used to have these, uh, Animal creatures. I'm not a furry. <laughs> Bryson, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Bryson, it's okay to be a furry. Why does everyone need to clarify that they're not a furry? I don't even need to deny that I'm a furry. If you want to randomly think, hey, Robert IDK is secretly a furry, go for it. Much respect to my, uh, to my furry kings, queens, and in-betweens. You know? You do your thing. Do it! Wear that suit. Just don't get too hot in there. Drink lots of water. Okay, so I had these bear guys and these wolf guys. Whoa. Uh... <coughs> 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 Oh, I also used to have this idea where like ocean life would fly. And wow. I like that. Very cool. It could be cool if ocean life would fly, but not if the sharks fly. <laughs> yeah, we discussed that. Oh, uh, that's when Tail freaking dies. No! Do you want context? Too bad. He's dead! He was my favorite warrior! Wait a minute, he's alive again? Uh, these guys, these freaking... Okay, yeah, this is where it stops, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and this one's done now, okay. and I hate it. <laughs> I hate all of them. Yay! Okay, this was a smaller one, but I remember using this one a lot. And okay. then there's Teo sliding under like a sword slash with this Whoa. assassin guy. Okay, that, that's my friend Dallin, and I drew him on a tortoise. Okay, we've all oh, been there. Oh, and this is my friend Andrew. He has a lot of, well, I also have a lot of freaking hair, but he has even more. And so I drew his head on a dog and said, a short hair with long hair. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would so prefer furry drawings over an actual dog with a human head. I would like, do, do straight up persona. I would prefer that over animals with a human head. 
Okay, this is uh, like a city that I made up. It's got these like spiral aqueducts. It's cool. Hamlandia. I made a comic. Okay, so there's a guy. I am the messenger of the goddess. Wow. You are the chosen one, destined to defeat the demon lord and save the world. Take this magic armor, put it on, and you can't die. But I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Bryson, there's no way that was your first comic ever, but solid. That was solid. I mean, he was like 13 when he was making it. So like old enough to have a funny thought, <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Okay. Here's another uh, tortoise like monster, dude. He's going to destroy you. <laughs> and the dragon again. <laughs> You can, you can kind of tell the kind of stuff I like to draw. It's mm -hmm. Teo and dragons, that's it. <laughs> okay, I remember being really proud of this one, but like his shoulder is like kind yeah, of outlines are solid. And weird and his hand is too big. It's all right though, it's all right. Yeah. Okay, so this is these are the wolf guys, I'm not a furry. <laughs> and okay, so I also had bird guys, mm -hmm. and I'm, I drew these like fish guys, okay. and these tiger guys, uh -huh. and these like bear guys. Oh, this was, I remember this sketch. These outlines are good. And yeah, that's the next sketchbook. Okay, on to the next one. So I think now's the part where I start to get a little bit good at drawing. Okay. Just okay. a little bit though. There was okay. some good okay, stuff in the last one. Again. Objection! Drawing a lot of them. I worked really hard on this one. Yeah, so th this is kind of like getting more into like kind of style I like to draw in. He's got some cool armor. I kind of like that guy. Oh, I remember this, the buff kitty. <laughs> Very <laughs> cool. Super thick. thick, muscly cat with just a tiny Oh, okay, I, I remember this one. I still like it. Uh, it's of Teo, he's got his cool sword. And uh, a friend of mine in class actually let me borrow his markers. And so I-, I Whoa, that that's really good. Okay, so now Teo is old news, okay? We don't care about Teo, Teo okay. is garbage. Yeah, I always hated this, that guy. Yeah, This no, is the guy we done. care about now, okay? This guy's name's Alex. He's got lightning powers. He can shoot lightning and stuff. He's cool. We hate Teo. It's all about Alex. Always, <laughs> always hated him, dude. Always, yeah, no, I was always. Listen, if you don't like Teo anymore, hey, I always thought he was a little weird. I always thought he was a little weird. This guy, Alex. Now he's that. He's that dude. He's that dude. Oh, and here's a sketch of Alex punching a robot in half. So he's like, Pew, and the robot's like, ah. Uh, wow. Oh, there's like a wolf. He's like, door smash attack. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm gonna get, so before I get into my current sketchbook, the one I'm still working on, Sweet. I'm gonna show you some of my uh, just miscellaneous drawings. So there's Teo, uh, there he is again. Is there anything on the inside? No. Uh, that's just a comic. What? What? Show it! Okay, I, I still kind of like these ones. It's Spider Man, and then there's Alex, and he's like, gonna cry? I would cry if you pointed at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a brief moment of sincerity from Bryson. <laughs> that would really hurt my feelings and I would probably cry. <laughs> uh, more stuff. Oh, I, I like this one. So that same friend let me borrow their markers and I drew this cat. Wow. Why do you need to borrow your friend's marker? Are, were your parents not getting you markers, bro? Were you not allowed to have markers? Why did you have to borrow? If you're passionate about drawing, why didn't every time he's had colored something, it's because his friend had markers he could borrow. Did you not have access to markers? I had access to markers when I was like four. What's the story here? Oh, it's the K rule down it. Oh, okay, so me and my friend, uh, like, used to like to do this thing where, like, I'd pick an animal and he'd pick an animal and we'd draw them mixed. Wow. So this is a bat whale. Bat whale. This is whale. a rhino beetle turtle. And my favorite is the pelican dog. Wow. <laughs> I really like this one. Oh, and here's, like, a fish mech. Wow. And yeah, so them are my miscellaneous drawings. Now we're gonna get into wow. my current sketchbook. I thought that was that your I current sketchbook. Has some new stuff. I hardly ever draw in this anymore, actually, because I spend all my time drawing on like the drawing tablet for videos and stuff. But it's still got some some stuff in here. Okay, so here's a drawing of Alex. I used to have this idea where he had this dragon, but that's not a thing anymore. Okay, here's him riding a horse. I really like that one, actually. He's got like a lance. That's pretty cool. Here's him taking a nap. I wanna see nap. another Hamination's drawing. And then drawing. here, since he's got electric powers, he gets struck by lightning and he's like, ah! 
Okay, so he also has a that dog that like rides in a jetpack and it's cute. Oh, and I forgot to mention the dog is named Pig the dog. And so- Oh, that's like my rat named Mouse, who will never let me take him out for a video because he's so skittish. But I guess I'll record him really quick for y'all. How are the muffins? Muffins, how are you? Where are the boys? <gasps> There's my Mr. Mouse. There's my Mr. <laughs> Mouse. How's it going? How's it going, bud? Are you good? You're just snoozing? Okay, I'll let you keep doing that. Goodbye. I also recently realized that Mr. Mouse in Japanese is Nezumi-san. So I've started calling him uh, Nezumi-san as well. <laughs> and so, because he's friends with pigs, and so I drew some pigs. Oh, and here, here's a cool one. This, this one was just recently. Uh, we're getting towards the end. So, like, here's Alex and, like, these guys coming to beat him up. Here's a, another dinosaur. Whoa. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's just like a mech guy. Yeah, so that's all I've got. Uh, sketching in your sketchbook is fun. This has been uh, the Bryson sketchbook tour. I hope you liked it. I didn't. Thanks for watching. Leave. <laughs> Well, I definitely wanted more hams, but I guess all of that evolution went on on the computer. I'm a computer. You know? I guess what the equivalent for me would be is like my old YouTube video edits from old channels that are long gone. I definitely have some old hard drives that have that. I should track that down. Guys, let me know. If you want to see my old edits, these aren't videos of me. These are like cartoons that I edited and stuff like that. And like meme videos, like old school meme videos. Let me know, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video, people. I had a lot of fun. And if you didn't see the video where we looked at animators first videos ever, check it out right there. Or here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like in particular. Check it out, I will see you here, I will see you there. And please make sure you're subscribed to all the people we looked at today. Thank you, I hope you have a great day. Peace.